Welcome everyone. I'm Scott Matthews and I'd like to welcome you to the inaugural Young Investigator Colloquium. Together with my co-chair for this colloquium, Richard Lane, and selection committee member, Yo Spash, we would first like to congratulate the 25 scholars who were selected for this colloquium. We had many more qualified applicants than we had slots, so your participation in this colloquium is a significant honor. Scholars, we believe that you are the rising stars of our field, and we hope that you will find your academic home at APS. We would also like to thank the mentors who generously carved out time from their busy schedules to review your proposals, attend the colloquium, and lead the small groups. Many more experienced investigators volunteered to be mentors for this colloquium than we had slots for, which is a testimony to how much our organization values mentorship. It was only after selecting the young investigators that we selected the mentors to provide the best possible fit to the interests of the young investigators. We think that we have all the ingredients in place to have a great day. One of the things that makes APS great is its rich history. Hundreds of distinguished scientists have contributed to making APS the leading society dedicated to the integration of biological, psychological, and social factors in medicine. When we considered how to name the five working groups at this colloquium for you, the future leaders of the field, we realized that we had a wonderful opportunity to honor some of the leading pioneers from our past. Helen Flanders Dunbar was a professor of physiology at Harvard in the 1920s through 1940s who developed the concept of homeostasis and coined the term the fight or flight response. Helen Flanders Dunbar was a physician scientist at Columbia University who launched our field with the publication of a book titled Emotions and Bodily Changes in 1935. She was the first editor of our journal Psychosomatic Medicine from 1939 through 1947. Walter Cannon was a professor of physiology at Harvard in the 1920s through 1940s who developed the concept of homeostasis and coined the term the fight or flight response. He was a pioneer in including the brain when considering how peripheral physiological systems were regulated. Hans Selye from McGill University in Montreal described the general adaptation syndrome or stress response beginning in the 1930s and went on to do seminal work in describing the HPA axis in health and disease. George Engel worked at the University of Rochester in the 1940s through 1980s and was most famous for creating and explicating the biopsychosocial model of medical care. He was president of APS in 1953 and 1954. John W. Mason worked at Walter Reed Army Hospital and later Yale University in the 1950s through 1990s. He created the field of psychoendocrinology by showing that mental states and mental disorders were best characterized by the profile of activity across hormonal systems. John Mason was president of APS in 1969 and 1970. We hope that you are inspired by the work of these founders as you chart the future path of discovery in our field. Next, I'd like to review today's schedule. First, we will have the privilege of hearing a keynote address from Dr. Margaret Chesney, after which the breakout sessions will begin. From 9 to 10.30, three scholars in each small group will present their research for 30 minutes each. This will be followed by a 15-minute break. Next, from 10.45 to 11.45, two scholars in each small group will present their research for 30 minutes each. This will also be followed by a 15-minute break. The colloquium will then have a 30-minute wrap-up session and will conclude at 12.30. I'd now, like to, I'd now like to welcome my friend and mentor, Dr. Richard Lane, who will introduce Dr. Chesney. 